Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you another tying video, this time a nymph pattern. Um, one of my go-to nymph patterns is a Pertagon. Uh, when I do a lot of check nymphing and uh, a lot of times I have a Pertagon on. I really like these. It gets you down fast. That's the great thing about a Pertagon. It's built like a bullet. Shoots straight to the bottom. And uh, this is another variation of the Pertagon. It's called the Quiltagon. Because it uses a strip peacock quill. And uh, let's get into tying in here. It's a really good looking fly. This one I have tied in an olive color. I have a, or a green. I have a green bead on it change the beads up whatever you like whatever colors you want to mess with um, I use a lot of different ones a lot of my pertagons are are green but I do quite well with um, my keystone copperhead if you look up that video it's a pertagon style tag nymph and uh, I do real well with that one too and that one's pink so mm -hmm. it, you know fish are crazy you never know what they're gonna want the hook we're tying it on is an H480 BL Hannock hook the bead I'm using is a 3.5 millimeter Hannock bead. Uh, this is the green color. And I'm just going to wrap up. I'm not going to use any extra lead here. I'm just going to wrap up and hold that bead in place. As you can see, building a nice little cone behind it there so it don't slide. The next thing we're going to put on, I'm going to take a Cock Daily On feather. Um, you know, a lot of my nymphs, especially my comp competition style nymphs, I use Cock Daily On. No different here. We're going to use a little bit of that. Um, I usually get about six, eight fibers there. I like to have a clump. If I can see it, then I think the fish can see it. So I'm not a big supporter of the, well, it's a mayfly imitation. You should only have three. I like to be able to see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on there. Notice I didn't really tie back to the bend on this, okay? I'm going to tie this down. I want to keep this thing as thin as I can. So I'm not overlapping my wraps. I'm trying to spread them just a, just a bit. And then I'm going to wrap it back right to where it starts rolling. So this shoots right off the end like that. We're going to trim our tag here. And we're going to bring our thread back up just a hair. I'm going to try to, and you see how I'm kind of spreading my wraps out. So I don't have a, a lot of, you know, a lot of extra thread there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces of, peacock crystal flash and I'm going to tie them on the side and you can use whatever color crystal flash I'm because I'm tying this as a green one that's why I went with the peacock it's a green color and I'm just going to take those two you can even use a mylar like a green mylar or something like that that's fine too or just a pearl mylar because your green thread will show through and uh, we're just going to take those two straps two strands there and I'm gonna make a couple wraps around here and just work our way up and I'm going further than I need to go which is fine I'm doing that just so it's easier to tie down and I'm gonna you know up front I'm gonna build a little bit of taper to it so it's good to have it tied off up here rather than in the back making extra wraps so the next thing we're gonna go with I'm going to go back to my strip peacock quill, my transparent, yeah, sorry, metallic Hemingway synthetic peacock quills. I always have trouble saying that, but I love using these things because they're very simple to use. All you do is, it's a sticker, you just pop the edge there, you can see how they peel off. Just grab a hold of it, peel one off, and we're just going to tie it in by the tip. It's a tapered quill you can see how it's small on one end big on the other so we're going to tie it in by the small end one side sticky the other side's not we're going to tie it sticky side out we're going to tie it down by the colored side this one here is an olive colored one olive metallic and then we're just going to wrap it back and you see where i'm stopping there i'm stopping oh i don't know an eight eighth of an inch or so in front uh, um, from the tail so I leave that mylar back there that crystal flash to make a nice little flashy tag on the butt and then we're just gonna keep this thin and I'm gonna work it up towards the head and I don't want to build up much but I do want to taper it just a little bit towards the head 
I'm going to bring my arm out here. I'm going to use my rotary vise on this one. I bring my arm out here. You can see it holds my thread. That way, whenever I spin my rotary vise, my thread won't wrap around the thread and build up. So we're just going to grab our synthetic quill and pop it off. So we've got to go back and tie that back on again. So I'm going to take a couple wraps off so I don't get it too big. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to tie this down again. These things are pretty good and pretty sturdy, but every now and then it is pretty thin down there on that end we're tying in. So it's not uncommon to break it, but it doesn't happen that often. Okay, now that we're ready to wrap this up, we're just going to hold on to this, not put a whole lot of tension because the, sticky, the stickiness of this thing is going to hold it in place too. So you don't need a lot of tension to hold it on there. If you put too much, you'll obviously break it like I've already showed you. And then I'm just going to wrap this up here. And uh, keep wrapping it side by side. You don't really want to overlap it too much because then the quill effect won't work for you. And we're just going to wrap that right up to the bead. And I've been ending this underneath the bead here lately because uh, it just is a nice tie-off point. I like it there instead of on top. I don't know why, just that's where I like it. So there, I'm going to make a couple wraps, come in, t cut this off. I, I think it's hidden a little bit better there. It's just more for my personal preference, I guess. Because the way I always see it is in the vise this way. So it probably doesn't matter to the fish. Anyway, going to make a nice little collar there. Try to keep it nice and even. Don't get too big. And let's yeah, whip finish this off. <clears throat> then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit it. Because it is a Pertagon, we're going to put this wing case on it. <clears throat> like we do on the other Pertagons. We're going to use some um, Sally Jansen's or Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails Black Fingernail Polish. So we're just going to take, and uh, we don't want much here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab it on that head in the hole, in the slot of the slotted bead there for, you know, for your jig hook. I'm going to get it to run down in there, and then just over the end, so you put a nice little wing case on there. Don't worry about filling that hole up completely. You're going to get that with your UV glue. That'll be fine. And uh, give it a little blow there. And then I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. I set it on my... I have a little foam piece here that I put it on. And then this is one that I already tied. And it's dry. You can see that's dry to the touch. So, you know, the magic television, we're going to come back in. Next thing I'm going to use... I'm going to use some Solarez Bone Dry. Uh, we just got this stuff in at the shop. This stuff's really great. Um, love how it cures. It actually, you'll see it here in the video. This stuff cures so well that it smokes. You know, you know you got a chemical reaction when you got smoke coming out of it. And we're just going to brush it on there. The Bone Dry is a thin finish. Um, it's just like the Loon Thin, it's kind of like a nail polish, maybe a little bit thinner than a nail polish. And uh, I put it on my rotary vise. I like using my rotary vise for this reason. And I just keep spinning it here so it makes a nice uniform size. So it has a nice taper to it. And then uh, we're just going to hit it with our light. You can see it smoking there. And you can see that UV, how that UV thread glows even through it. So, this is really great stuff. It's, uh, I'll touch it there, and it's hard as a rock. Now, the thin, this is a thin, so you're not going to get a real thick hard coat on this. You're going to get a thick, or you're going to get a thin protective coat, which is what you want. So, very simple, easy to tie fly. Um, the quilt are gone. Nice little flashy one. It's going to get you down quick with that tungsten bead. You know, everything you need for a European style nymph. Give it a try, everybody. Those Hemingway quills you can find at the shop along with the thread and the hand clicks and beads. So look us up at the shop at holsingersflyshop.com. 
for everything you need for fly tying. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, follow us on Instagram. We've got a pretty big following going there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, I'm Sean Holsinger.